Hey, today we're going to go through what to do when you're playing a composition that is being contested by another player. Whilst doing this, we will review a game where I get a great early start with Void, but end up getting contested early on, which will highlight some of the key decisions we're going to talk about. So the very first thing you need to do when contested is to know that you're being contested. The earlier you find out, the more time you have to prepare and formulate a plan to deal with it. If you're only finding out once you end up going against the player in a round, then it's most likely already too late to do anything about it. This means scouting the other players from the very beginning of the game to get any indications of what they might end up playing in the later stages. So you know you're being contested. You really only have two options. You can continue with the composition knowing that another player is looking for the same units as you, which will force you into a certain style of play in order to succeed. Or you can pivot to a different composition, which can be difficult depending on how locked in you are to the composition you're currently playing. The tricky part is deciding which option to take and when. I've created a table of indicators for both options, and the more indicators that you have for each option, the more likely it is for that option to be the right decision. Okay, so you've gone through the indicators and decided to stay with your composition. This means that you're most likely stronger than the other player contesting, or you have something they don't in order to make the composition work, such as an emblem or a key unit which is hard to obtain at this stage. Your goal should be to play as aggressive as possible in order to reinforce your lead as much as possible. This means slamming items that may not be best in slot, or rolling your gold at a suboptimal time to get the units you need before the other player does. If you've decided to stick with your composition and you're fairly even with the player contesting you, then your best bet is to reach the bare minimum level you need to roll to hit the units you need and roll all of your gold to hit them before the other player does. That means rolling on 7 instead of 8 to hit 4 cost units and rolling on 6 instead of 7 to hit 3 cost units. It can be difficult to get a first or second placement when being contested but if you follow these steps I just mentioned, it should be enough to secure a top 4 placement in most cases. But let's be honest, it wouldn't be TFT if there wasn't a little luck involved. Okay, so you've decided to pivot from the comp to something else. The first thing you need to do is decide what composition you want to pivot to. Ideally, this should be a composition you have played before. Use items that you can build and one that no one else is playing. You don't want to pivot from a contested composition to another one. Once you've decided the composition that you want to pivot to, you need to start picking up units from that. Either keeping them on the bench or switching them out for other units on your board, ensuring you're not making your board too much weaker. You don't want to be switching out two star units for one star units, for example. Just before we jump into the game review, if, if you do find these guides helpful, I would really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. With that said, let's review this game. So you may have saw at the very beginning, just before the carousel, while scouting, we saw another player that had picked Tome of Traits as the first augment and had got a Void Emblem, which means that we're definitely going to be contested this game, at least in some way, whether it goes full Void or not. Having the Void Emblem is the key to making the Void composition successful, and we didn't get a Void Emblem. So, no matter what, we're going to be slightly behind, although we have a much stronger team going through into the mid-game, I decided to pivot to a new composition. And even though I had more indicators that would lead me to pick Void as an end-game team, I would much rather pick a team where I'm not relying on an emblem, especially when another player already has it which means even though he's weaker in the earlier mid game, as long as he manages to find one of each void team, he will be stronger than my team. So at this point in the game, we're hitting the mid game, we've just hit the second augment, and because I didn't get the void emblem in the second augment, I'm definitely looking to transition. And after scouting the other players, we see that no one else is playing uh, Sharima Strategists, which, which is a very strong composition in this meta. So I look at slowly transitioning. As I said, we don't want to completely transition out of Void and make our board weaker. We want to slowly add in and 
build this composition up over a few rounds. So we managed to find uh, one, one Azir and one Lux and a couple of strategists. So we keep in our Void front line. So we're not completely uh, weaker at this point. But now we've got our end game back line, we can start to either roll to make this stronger or we can look to level up to eight here as we're quite healthy. Like I said, we had a really strong start with Void. So we're at 82 health and we're still winning games even with this transition board. If we look to transition our front line completely, we'd be much, much, uh, much weaker. And yeah, as you can see, our third augment, we end up getting the, the Void Emblem augment. But I see it at this point, it's way too late. Although that would have been great to have as the as the second augment. And because of the region portal, which will give us uh, a champion duplicator, I do have it in my mind that we could possibly hit a three star four cost this game. And we managed to hit another um, two star Lux. So now I've got it in my mind that I'm looking to three star Lux, which should turn this from a guaranteed top four to a guaranteed first or second if, if somebody else hits a three star four cost. So yeah, I'll let this play out now and I'll see you in the next video.